Hallo, hallo, hallo. Today is Thursday, October 9, 2025. Here follow Keith Norman's solution to problem 240. And he starts with a simple message, because this really is a high school problem. Anyone finding this problem difficult, watch 802 Lecture 4, where Walter introduces electric potential. This is not the same as electrostatic potential energy. They have different dimensions, by the way. In Lecture 4, Walter uses Coulomb's law to obtain the electric potential around a point charge, taking zero volts at infinity. That's the only meaningful thing to do. For this problem, we need only add the potentials for each charge together. The green line is at the potential of zero volts because points on the line are equidistant from each charge and charges are equal and opposite. So digest it for a minute that any point on the green line electric potential must be zero. Therefore also point C. From the diagram, point A will be a negative and B will be positive. So here is A. Here is B. And point C is of course zero because it's on the green line. And now it's a matter of grinding some simple high school algebra. Here's point A. Minus 899 volts. Point B plus 1926 volts. I could have done this problem in high school without any doubt. The fact that we cover it, of course, still in 802 is not unreasonable. My rough guess is that only about maybe eight, definitely fewer than 10 people have this correct. How do I feel about that? Well, it tells me basically that those of you who cannot do this do not spend any time to look at my 802 lectures where clearly the solutions is staring you in the face. Should you take more courses in physics? Yes, maybe that too. <laughs>